Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also, very very soon, I might be selling t-shirts, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, today we're talking about The Weeknd's new song, In Your Eyes, from his album, After Hours. And we, uh, we gotta talk, okay? Because I watched the, the music video, this is a reaction, but I'm not gonna be putting any of the video into this because I don't feel like getting copyright strike or anything like that. So I'm gonna do just a straight up reaction, letting you know how I felt about it and kind of where I feel like all this is going, okay? So from the beginning of this music video, I'm watching The Weeknd, basically he's an ax knife wielding murderer, okay? He's murdering people, right? He gets in the elevator with a white couple. We're assuming that he kills them from the screams that are in the video. Moving forward, you see this black girl in this blonde wig, white top, blue skirt, running around, right? Trying to escape. She has blood on her face, doesn't know what's going on. And you see The Weeknd chasing after, well, not chasing. He's like, you know, slowly sauntering toward her. But he has a, a knife in his hand about this long. It's huge, right? And he has his red suit on and shades. I don't know what's happening. And, and as the video keeps going, you just see basically the entire video. She's just being chased by him. And I'm just going to stop there for a second because I'm going to put this out there. I, I feel like The Weeknd is trying to send us some type of message through this video. I can't quite figure out what it is. I'm going to put the actual video in the, in the description below. You can take a look at it for yourself. Tell me what you think. Every time I'm looking at every all the, the video, the whole thing, it seems like there's some type of message behind it, right? From the people that he murders to the fact that he's walking around in this blazer, red, all red blazer, with these shades on, this afro and this knife. And then he's coming upon this lady, black lady, blonde hair, right, white top, blue skirt, blood on her face. And as the video keeps going, she's running through the club and it's a whole bunch of red lights. And, and eventually near the end of the actual video, uh, everything shifts, right? The entire video shifts. So let me talk about the first part and then we'll talk about the shift and then how it goes from there, okay? So the first part from the point where he's introduced as his murderer to the point where he's chasing her, what I don't understand is who is he? Like what is he representing? What is he trying to say? I'm trying to figure out what exactly the point is because I feel like there is one. I don't, if, please go watch the video. Come back, tell me if I'm crazy, right? But there's something about the way he's presenting himself in this. It makes it feel like a, a Jordan Peele production. Like he wrote it and directed it or something. I don't know. It's so weird. And my reaction toward it is like, the first part, I'm looking like this. Okay, because the song is really good. In your eyes, your eyes, right? It's really good. The music is fantastic. That's not even a question. And I think there's some message in the actual lyrics themselves, but we're just sticking with the music video for right now. And as the video keeps going, the music is, it stops at a certain point. And this is where the shift comes in at. So once the music video gets to the point where the girl is in this warehouse and the weekend is stalking her, okay? The shift comes where she finds an ax. I don't know where she gets this ax from, but she just finds it, I don't know. I don't know where she got it from, but she finds it. So she has this ax and she's, she's basically trying to get away from him. And at a certain point, she turns around and there is the weekend ready to attack her, even though he doesn't. But anyway, she turns around and with a swift strike to the neck, completely cuts his head off. And at that point in the music video, I went from quickly to, right? But it's not over yet. So after she cuts his head off, you know, any horror movie you watch, Everyone is excited, including the audience, the protagonist, when they kill the bad guy, right? And there's always this sense of, oh my God, what if they come back? What if they get up or something? No, he ain't getting up. All right, his head is cut off. It's over. You see the blood splatter on the wall and everything. So she looks at his head on the ground. This part was crazy. So she looks at his head on the ground and thinks to herself, I'm going to pick this sucker up and I'm going to just... I'm gonna just hold it to, I'm gonna hold his head by the afro and just laugh at it. And so the rest of the music video, it's just her dancing with a disembodied head, celebrating her victory against this 
knife murderer, I guess. And then obviously when you get to the club scene, you see her dancing with it and she's like holding on to it like, yeah, I gotcha. But then the craziest part happens. She like starts kissing his beheaded head? I, I, okay, so my face again, we're gonna go back to my face. So my face was like this, to this, immediately to this. Okay, that's basically what happened. And it's, once again, and everyone who's watching this, if, if, you, if you were suggested this video, if you were curious about other people's reactions, watch my reaction. Look at my face. This video is insane and The weekend needs help because this is crazy. Like, I already understand the knife murderer thing, but then to transform it into her killing him and then like taking his head, laughing at it, and then kissing it while dancing in the club and somehow, his shades don't fall off his face? This is very cur- I'm curious. I'm curious. This- this seems like some type of message. Like he's trying- like- like he's trying to- to tell us something. But I can't quite put my finger on it. I don't- I'm watching it. I see the colors, right? Because that sometimes has meaning. I don't see any numbers. That sometimes has me meaning. None of that, right? Uh, the primary colors I saw in this video was red, white, and blue, okay? So that might mean something. But the head cutting, the dancing with the... I don't quite understand. And I know this is this, this channel is called Song Theory, so a lot of what you watch is going to be me trying to theorize, but this is the first time I think I've watched something I could not come up with anything. And I gotta watch it again. Maybe that's what it is. I need to watch it again. I need to I need to really absorb what happened because I feel like it just kind of went over my head. Almost like the first time I saw uh, Us from Jordan Peele. I think we talked about that. You know, Jordan Peele is a fantastic director. He's one of the greatest uh, that I've seen in the horror genre in terms of trying to put deeper messages inside the actual movie itself. And it's fantastic. It's, if you haven't seen any of Jordan Peele's stuff, whether it's Get Out or Us, you're missing out. But even after I walked out of the movie Us, I was like, what was the point? Every time I watch something, there is a... Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys something real quick. Any entertainment, any form of entertainment that you watch, okay, everything means something. I know some people will argue that and say, no, it doesn't. Some things don't mean anything at all. That's not true. Everything means something. Whether it's the color, the camera angle, the actors, however they portray, whatever. Whether in film or, or music videos, which is basically film, everything, every shot, every action means something. Alright? So to me, I'm watching this and I'm like, what does it mean? And I just can't quite put my finger on it. But in terms of a reaction to this music video, it's crazy. It, you know, you don't see black people often going through a horror movie scenario in these in these music videos. And when you do see it, it's often not ending with a person getting their head cut off and then the protagonist dancing with the disembodied head and kissing it on the lips. You just don't, you don't see that. You know, you, you know, so obviously for me, I'm a little confused. I don't quite understand what's going on, right? Maybe, maybe you guys can tell me, right? In the comments below, tell me what you think the video means. I do think I'm going to do a song theory on this, just not yet. I'm going to wait a little longer because I want to really, I want to soak this in. I'm, I'm going to really look at it again and try to glean something from it because right now I am a lost. It came out eight hours ago. By the time I post this, it's going to be longer than that. But this, this video came out about eight hours ago. So I think still people are trying to grasp what it all means. Okay, so... In the comments, tell me what you guys think this video means. I mean, do you think it means anything? If, if you can glean anything from it, I'll be happy because I like to read it. I even went through the comment section of the music video itself and nobody had any type of like assumption as to what it could mean. I don't know. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all subscribe to the channel. Once again, I will make, I'll be making t-shirts soon. So comment below if that's something you want. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.